three-pointers flying in from all over the court and fast breaks erupting at every opportunity. That's what's on tap today as the resurgent Montgomery College Rockville Knights take on their longtime Maryland Juco nemesis, the Hartford Community College Fighting Owls. High-scoring NJCAA women's college basketball on Montgomery College Television, starting now. Rockville, Maryland. Montgomery College Television is proud to present NJCAA Women's College Basketball with the Montgomery College Rockville Knights taking on the Hartford Community College Fighting Owls. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Brown and it is my pleasure to welcome to the telecast my new partner, Joe Thompson. Now Joe comes to us with an impeccable basketball resume. He played four years of Division II college basketball at West Texas A&M. And as a matter of fact, Joe is still in the career top 10 in eight different categories. Welcome to the telecast, Joe. Well, thank you very much, Michael. I'm really glad to be part of Montgomery College Television and its coverage of Montgomery College Athletics. Well, we are thrilled to have you here. And I tell you, I look forward to a long partnership between you and I. Same here, Michael. Now, Joe, at the top of the show, I talked about the resurgent Montgomery College women's basketball program. And that is certainly the case. This is a much better team than last year. And before the game, Joe and I had a chance to sit down with the Rockville head coach, and we talked to her about comparing this year's team to last and also about the strengths of this year's squad. Big difference. <laughs> this year's team has a lot more talented athletic uh, players as well as they know the game better, whereas last year's team was just learning the game. Last year was more teaching how to dribble the ball and how to shoot this year is taking people out of bad habits. I think the strengths of the team really are defense, defense and, and rebounds. We get a lot of steals. Just about every player on this team can steal the ball and tends to do so. In fact, the bigger, the tallest player, or I guess the post player, Taisha, leads in steals and actually leads in the country. She's ranked as one of the, with the top steals. So it's the steals and rebounds. We, we get about 50 rebounds per game, which is pretty good. Now, Joe, what a difference a year and a chance to recruit can make. And that's very true, Michael. The Coach Gasquay has brought into Montgomery College a team that has more athleticism, but they also have a better knowledge of the game. They are able to play faster, but under more control. She also mentioned defense twice in the package. So you can see that a hallmark of this team is this defensive intensity, and that translates into easy baskets on the other end. Well, you talk about intensity, and one of the players that we're going to be focusing on, I'm sure all game long, I guarantee it, is Melissa Weithman, number 20 for the Rockville Knights. She is the co-captain of the team, the leading scorer on the team. As a matter of fact, she is currently the number one scorer in the nation for NJCAA Division III. But there is so much more to Melissa's story than just three-pointers and rebounds because Melissa Weithman has overcome three serious knee injuries to get where she is today. All three times I tore my ACL and my meniscus. Same knee. Rehab is extremely hard. It's very difficult. I personally think the rehab is a lot harder than going through the surgery because it just takes out the whole mental aspect and the emotions and everything because personal experience I broke down all during physical therapy because it's hard knowing that you have to sit out and just wanting to be back on the court it's extremely hard I love the game of basketball no people think I'm crazy for coming back people say that they would have just finish playing basketball after their first tear of the ACL. But I love it too much. I've been told that I'm a good player. I believe in myself. And going through these surgeries, it's helped me on and off the court of what I am capable and not capable of doing. 
I really couldn't have done any of this without the people around me, my coaches, Coach G especially, my family. I could not have done it without them. Now, Joe, that is a resilient athlete. And that's very true, Michael. Now, having torn my own Achilles tendon, I know how hard it is to rehab. And it's hard. It's painful. It's discouraging. It feels like it's going to go on forever. And for her to have come back from three of these, I really tip my hat to her. And not only has she shown the inner strength to be able to fight through these injuries and battle back to, to where she is right now, number one leading scorer in the nation, but she also has a presence of mind to thank the people who have helped her along her way. And I think that Coach Gasquay, that, that's the type of student athlete Coach Gasquay brings into Montgomery College. Well, I certainly agree with you. And Joe, we're just a couple of minutes away now from the start of the game. Let's take a look at some of the keys to today's matchup. The first key is to play better team basketball. Both teams need to be able to recognize situations faster, help each other on defense, which means communicating with one another, and get teammates open for shots. Key number two, steals leading to easy baskets. Rockville especially likes to pressure the ball and get in the passing lanes, and once they get the steal, they need to look down the court from Melissa Weithman on the fast break. Key number three, rebounding. Harfer is taller overall, so Rockville must box out for good rebounding position if they want to have a chance in this game. Well, we're going to find out how all these keys will play out because we're just moments away from the start of the game. Joe and I will be right back with the starting lineups and the opening tip after this.